I prophesy, be healed individually, personally, be healed as a family, be healed as a clan, be healed as a community, be healed as a church. Hello, Bishop Gichana George, again with Word Power today. I'm so encouraged to know that you are following and you are watching how prophets bring deliverance. I'm reading the book of Hosea 12 and 13, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet, he preserved his people. He did a major miraculous deliverance, that is God using a prophet, and the prophet at that time, who was getting the people of God out of the Egyptian bondage, was Moses. He brought them out. That means there was change. There was allocation. Geographically, they changed. And then we discover these men and women of God were not only gotten out of this serious bondage, but they were preserved. God will get us out of slavery, out of sufferings, out of the curse of bondage. He will deliver us from struggles every day of our lives. He will cause us not to be molested again. Our taskmasters will not continue to control and rule us. Then the other thing, the afflictions we face, how we are grieved and we are bitter with life, that will not be the Lord. The African man, the black man, must be delivered from a number of things that have happened historically. And we are trying to pattern this from what we read from Scripture. There is poisoned waters which the children of Israel faced. There was barren lands they found themselves in. Then there is the curse of ridicule, insults, mockery, and scorn found among the black people. Prophets will deliver us from the curse of indebtedness, where we struggle with debts. We will be delivered from the curse of barrenness. This takes place again and again. Prophets will deliver us from certain death, demonic surprises that come in our way. God will use prophets to bring deliverance from the curse of sickness and incurable diseases. God sends his prophets on our way to bring deliverance from the curse of indebtedness and the great financial losses. Prophets will be used of God to deliver us. Prophets will bring deliverance from the curse of defeat, humiliation, and destruction. I see that again and again, especially among the black people. God will send prophets in our way to bring deliverance from the curse of being sieged or besieged, surrounded. And we are not able to move out of the situations we find ourselves in. God sends his prophets to bring deliverance to us from the curse of famine, starvation, and hunger. This is all in the scriptures, and I will seek to pursue them slowly so that we can discover why the scriptures talk of 
And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he preserved Israel. The curse of famine, starvation, and hunger is not your portion. You will be delivered from famine curse, famine for personal life, in our marriages, in our churches, in our finances, and in our careers. God will deliver us from the curse of injustice. Again and again, we find the people of God under these attacks. May we go back and look at 2 Kings chapter number 2, verse number 19. I just want to take a model example from the Bible and show you how you can be delivered from poisonous water and the barren lands, which are unfruitful, and all they carry is poverty. Africa is referred to as the third world. We are called the developing nations. We are classified as among the many nations where the poor of the poor reside. What is God's thinking and God's perspective concerning Africa, concerning the great nation of Kenya. I read 2 Kings chapter 2, verse number 19. And this is what I am reading. The Bible says, And the men of the city said to Elijah, Behold, we pray you, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth. But... The water is naughty, and the ground is barren. Verse number 20. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, put salt therein, and he brought it to him. And he went forth into the spring of the waters. He cast the salt in there, and he said, Watch these words. He says, Thus says the Lord. I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barrenness in the land. Verse number 22. So the waters were healed to this day according to the saying of Elijah. Elisha, which is pork. Prophets deliver. Prophets will preserve. Here is a situation in a city. And the city was located geographically in a place which you would call pleasant. But then the men and the residents of that place were suffering from something very unusual. The water was not good and the ground was barren. The prophet of God spoke in verse number 21, 2 Kings 2, 21. 20, he said, bring me a new cruise. Put salt therein, and they brought it to him. Why did he request salt? Salt was used for covenantal purposes. Salt preserves. Salt at the times was used to clean and he healed the wounds. Salt was used to add taste to food. And we are called the salt and the light to the nations which are under problems. They brought it to him. They obeyed the prophetic direction that he gave them. And he went forth to the spring of the waters. He went to where the souls of the problem was. The prophet will face the problem squarely. He went to the springs of the waters. Waters stands for people, many people, and he cast in the soul therein. And this is what he said in 2 Kings 2, 21. 
I have healed these waters. That's a powerful word for you. I have healed these waters. I've healed your family. I've healed your clan. I've healed the county. I've healed the nation. There shall not be from this anymore death or barrenness. We come from situations where we are drinking poisoned water as it was spiritually. We live on barren lands. There is no fruitiveness. We are operating on unfruitiveness. We strive in poverty. Poverty of creativity, innovation, ideas. We are struggling. We carry the poverty of education, spiritual poverty, financial poverty, resource poverty. Why? The source has been poisoned. The source has been affected by the enemy. There is a curse of poisoned water. Water is life. Water is used for cleaning. Water is used for drinking. Water is used to irrigate and give us life. We live in places where the word of God, which is water, is not available. We are struggling. We are drinking from cultural waters. We are drinking from poisoned waters that have been affected at the source by witchcraft powers, by the forces of darkness. We are living in lands that are barren. They carry a lot of unfruitiveness. Individual lives, family lives, careers, businesses, leadership, education, science and technology, nobody is making a headway. Today, I hear the Lord saying, the time for poisoned water has come to an end. Barren lands where nobody is making a major breakthrough in life, in the family, where churches have stagnated because people are drinking poisoned water. The water is not healthy. People are wallowing in iron poverty. People are struggling. There is no clear word. Revelation is lacking. You are watching this program today. You need to have an Elijah come into your life. Visit your spring of water, which is poisoned. And Elisha is going to demand salt. He's going to use the covenant of salt so that the lives of men and women in the city must be delivered. There are particular cities we reside in and villages where traditionally Somebody poisoned the spring. And we are not able to have breakthroughs. We need Elijah to come. And Elijah spoke in verse number 21. I have healed these waters. There shall not be any more death or barren land in this situation. So the waters were healed to this very Day, according to the saying of Elisha, which is spoke. It is not the witch that is spoke. It is not the wizard that is spoke. Who spoke into the situation of the city? The prophet of God. Our cities need to hear the prophetic word. Cities be healed. Counties be healed. The nation be healed. No more death. No more barrenness. Our young people must be set free. I sense in my spirit things to do 
with the poisoned waters. The waters that the people drink in. You see people drink the water of psychology, philosophy. People drink from the waters of dead religions. Hard theological facts where the word of God has not been employed. Today I cry prophetically and I speak to our cities. Lord, heal the waters. Lord, let there be no more death or barrenness in the land. You know better where you are coming from. You know your background. You know why your mother was not married. You know why divorce and separation has been the order of the day. There are certain genetic diseases you carry in your body. Some of those diseases cannot be healed. But I hear the Lord saying, the prophet of God went forth into the spring of the waters and he cast the salt there. And he said, the Lord, thus says the Lord, I've healed these waters. I prophesy, be healed individually, personally, be healed as a family, be healed as a clan, be healed as a community, be healed as a church. Anything that has brought death and barrenness is hereby prosecuted and charged. I make a demand. The time for you to get married has come. So the waters were healed to this very day according to the saying of Elisha, the prophet, that he spoke that day. May God speak to your life, your family, your clan. May God speak to our nation. May we be healed from poverty, ignorance, disease, retrogressive backward customs and cultures which are not taking us forward. I prophesy, may the Lord catapult you forward. Move to your destiny. Any waters that are poisoned in marriages where there are no children, marriages where it is struggles, it is fightings, it is divorce, it is separation, is unfaithfulness, infidelity, anything that is poisoning your money, I make a demand. Restoration and recovery. Restoration and recovery. Yes, that which COVID-19 stole, we now recover. We recover with the double honor not with the double shame. I prophesy over your life, you who is an orphan, you who has been abandoned by your husband or your wife, the children that are taking poisoned waters of drugs and alcohol, immorality, people that are into phonographic literature, people that have gotten into secret societies, where they are taking poisoned waters. We heal the waters with the word of God. The salt that will preserve and bring restoration. Every heartache, every pain, every struggle, right now, may the salt, the divine salt of the word of God, prophetically proclaimed to you, Set you free and be healed. No more death, no more barrenness. Let there be fruitfulness and productivity. That when I speak it into your life, take it. I give it to you under the grace and the anointing I carry. Father, I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for your servants. 
that have listened to this word this day. And I rebuke poisoned waters, poisoned marriages, poisoned lives with the incurable diseases, HIV and AIDS. Diseases that are destroying the people of God slowly. I rebuke that. I release the salt of God. Any barren lands, any unfruitfulness, any poverty, may the God Lord of Elijah intervene. Change the situation of the people following me. I know you have heard it. You have heard our, our prayers. It is done. And I lift up my hands. I say, thank you, Lord. COVID-19, your time is over. Any sicknesses that have been long standing in your life, that time is over. Elijah has come in with a soul. And from that time, the waters were healed to this very day. It is done in Jesus' name. Remember, when Jesus touches you, when God touches you, the touch is permanent. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Look at the screen. The pay bill number 989870 is for you to release the offering to connect up with what you have heard. Support us to preach the word. Support the building Center we are putting in Eldoret, apostolic center. We are now at the roofing level. Be part of this great transformational center. And thank you. Until next time, it is Bishop Gijana saying, the waters were healed to this very day. You will never be the same again. Amen.